This video provides visual specifications for the individual project. What we see here is the index.php file which contains links to other PHP documents in the project. As you can see, I grouped the links in terms of the entities that we work on, such as movies, genres, directors, and so on. These correspond to the tables in the project. The project application performs the four main functions on these tables, namely viewing records, editing existing records, adding new records, and deleting records. Let's look at each page to get a better idea. I'll start with movies with view all movies where all the movies that exist in the database are listed. As you see the movies are shown uh, with their title, director, genre, length and year. There are several functions that this page can do for you. One is sorting the movies based on different criteria such as director last name this is ascending or descending starting with, with Z and going back to A or by genre again ascending and descending length from the shortest to the longest or longest to the shortest and year from the oldest to the newest or from the newest to the oldest and I I get these results as I click on the headings here I can also sort by title descending and ascending that was the um, default uh, sorting another function is the pagination uh, these are not all the movies that are in the database. They're divided in a number of pages, two pages to be uh, exact. As you see here, you can navigate to page two or go back to page one. You can move to the next page or the previous page. You can jump to the last page or the first page. Since we only have two pages, um, clicking on any of these uh, gives you the uh, same result, but uh, when you imagine that you can have uh, more than two pages, then moving to the next page or jumping to the last page uh, might be handy for the user. So this is um, the script that uh, shows or lists all the movies um, in the database. From this page, from this script, you can also go to another page where you can edit a given movie. So if I click this, I go and edit the movie Heat. I can change the director or the genre. I can change the length or the year and when I submit this form my record would be updated or I can delete a movie for example I can go to the page where I can delete Red Planet uh, the form asks me the page asks me whether I am sure to delete this um, here I choose no and click submit so the movie is not deleted but I could choose yes and click submit in which case my movie would be deleted and I would get uh, a similar um, feedback saying that such and such movie is deleted. I will not delete the movie right now not to uh, change my database. Another uh, page that I can go from this page is where I can list the roles in a given movie. For example, let's choose the Devil's Advocate here, clicking View Roles. Again, um, the roles are paginated. I used only two records per page um, to be able to show the pagination. Uh, that's a little uh, too low a number. You probably would want to list probably five or ten um, roles per page but again just to show you 
um, the functionality of pagination um, you can you can choose to include only two per page that's fine too um, uh, these are not really critical um, aspects to your project um, and you can edit a role for example you can change the name of the movie or the actor who's playing or the actress who's playing this role or change the role name and submit the changes then this role would be changed and this of course performs changes on the roles table or you could delete a role um, just like you could delete a movie from the roles table using this form which again asks you whether you're sure um, clicking yes or no and clicking submit would uh, get you the um, um, the desired result so this is um, this is view movies and the uh, following related um, scripts under view movies the other link that I have from the index.php um, page uh, that performs the task on the movies table is add a movie as you see um, we could list edit and delete movies following this link so there's only one function left to be performed on the movies table and that's add a movie where I can enter a title pick a director, pick a genre and length and year then I'm ready to go I click add movie and this there might be a case um, where the director I want to add to the new movie is not included in my database in which case I can follow this add a new director link and uh, at the new director here with the first name last name and uh, date and place of birth as I click this the new director would be added to my um, database then I can go back and choose the newly added director as the director for the movie that I'm trying to add I can do the same thing for genre if I can't see the genre that I'm looking for this new movie I can go to this add genre page and add a new genre and then come back and pick the newly added genre from this drop down so that's how you add a movie under genres we only have add a genre because um, we're not looking for functionality where we could edit or delete um, a given genre we just assume that when we add one it's correct and it will stay in the database um, you should feel free to um, add scripts that will let people edit or delete those but this is not uh, required for the project we follow the add a director link from add a movie uh, page this is the same thing where you would just want to add a director um, irrespective of whether you're adding a new movie or not um, that's for just adding a new director in your database which you can use in the future when adding movies or just like view all movies you can view all directors and most of this should look familiar now the pagination here again we have two pages of directors listed five per page um, if we had uh, many more directors here we would have many more pages listed here and again we can sort by first name ascending descending last name date of birth or place of birth and we can also edit the details of a director 
or delete an existing director in the database just like we can edit or delete movies in the database the same thing applies for actors and actresses um, you can sort or list all the actors and actresses in the database um, you can sort the records by any of the uh, fields ascending or descending and you again have pagination and you can edit the details of a given actor or actress or delete a given actor or actress following these links you can also add a new actor or actress just like you can add uh, a director. For the roles you need to go to view all movies and then pick view roles for that movie. So you can only list the roles by movie. You can't list all the roles that are in the database given this application. There could be an application which, which would um, list all the roles in the database but for this application we don't need something like that we just want something that would show the roles when we pick a specific movie and we we looked at that before when we were looking at the view movies link uh, but again you can edit or delete a role following these links or you you can add a new role to this movie where you can pick the actor or actress and provide the role name um, one important thing here as you see whenever I pick a movie let's say we pick uh, Red Planet and follow this add a new role to this movie link the movie title is selected as the movie that I'm working on by default so I don't need to um, pick the movie from the drop-down whenever I follow the view roles link for a movie let's go to the Pink Panther for example and click the add a new role link I get that movie by default in the drop-down box uh, that's one of the important uh, features you should make your forms as sticky as possible both within the same script whenever you issue error uh, reports or success reports and you should also make your forms as sticky as possible from one script to the other so here we're moving from one script which is view roles to add role but the form is partially sticky at least the title of the movie sticks so um, this is one of the expectations for the for the project um, to make life easier for the users and for the actor actress of course you don't have a default entry because you don't know and there's no way you can know what actor or actress will be selected for the new role that's being added uh, but you know the movie you're working on the Pink Panther as you see here so um, that that should at least stick I hope this provides um, some detailed visual specification for the project um, I'll be happy to answer your questions um, either um, you can post them on the discussion board on blackboard or you can email t uh, them to me or you can ask me in class of course um, so that other students can um, can benefit uh, from the discussion uh, good luck on working on the project